<laughs> Artificial intelligence has become a hot topic once again in the technology world. The hype around AI has gone through many cycles of hype and disillusionment, but now it looks like it's here to stay, and that's all thanks to deep learning. Emotions are centered in the lower part of the brain. Deep learning is loosely inspired by how our brains function. The algorithms can teach themselves to understand things like images and speech sometimes better than even people can. Should have responded by now. Deep learning is more traditionally referred to as a neural network and has been around since at least the 1950s. Major advances happened in the 1980s and 1990s, but they didn't go very far beyond the research labs at the time. There are two limiting factors then, access to huge amounts of data to train the algorithms and access to cheap, pure computing horsepower. The internet solved that first problem, and now processing power has gotten there thanks to programmable graphics processors, primarily made by NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA's chips are traditionally used to generate the latest gaming graphics, but are increasingly taking hold in deep learning. The chips excel in processing large amounts of data simultaneously, a process known as parallel computing. My name is Alex Krzyzewski. Um, I'll tell you about... <laughs> A pivotal moment for this onslaught of deep learning happened in 2012 when Alex Grzynski, a grad student at the University of Toronto, submitted some research into a competition called ImageNet. From his parents' house, he plugged 1.2 million images into a deep learning neural network and achieved image recognition and accuracy never before seen. Since then, deep learning has started spreading like wildfire across tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook. Andrew Ng, a major figurehead, deep learning, and co-founder of Google Brain, refers to an AI as the new electricity. Deep learning has now started taking hold even further in a diverse array of industries such as healthcare, finance, and transportation.